Oh, hey, can we watch a movie right now? But this is just a Disney Infinity disc. No, no, no. Look inside. Human Centipede? But this is a gross movie. But it has so many memorable lines. Yes. Feed her. How about if I just tell you a couple stories instead? Aw, man. Hello? 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 Enjoy the video. Every CCT camera has a blind spot. For those of you that don't know what blind spots are, they're basically places below the camera's line of sight. I work in security, and inside the building I work, there are loads of CCT cameras. So at the same time, there are also loads of blind spots. I was working the night shift a couple of weeks ago and I was looking at the CCT cameras. There really wasn't much happening. Then as I got up to go to the bathroom, out of the corner of the reception area, there was a ghostly figure just floating on its own. I had no idea what its intentions were, but its appearance was just very random. I had never really believed in such things, but this eerie figure was just staring at me. I went back to the CCT cameras to have a look at it, but it was in a blind spot. Then a resident was walking past the reception area with his headphones on, and without a care in the world to even notice anything. When this person got into the blind spot of the CCT camera, he never walked back into frame. I went out only to see that he wasn't there anymore. He was pronounced missing a week later. Then during a weekend shift, I doubled up with another security guard. I told him what had happened, and he started laughing. He went into another place inside the building where we also had a large blind spot from the CCT cameras. He started shouting and mocking the ghosts. Then he went silent, and the silence was evading. My friend wasn't at that spot anymore apart from a silhouette of a ghostly aura. It seemed like these ghosts knew where all the blind spots on the CCT cameras were. With cameras being so prevalent everywhere, Things like that must have become a real pain for them. But now that they understand where the blind spots are, they can get away with anything. The managers at work just assumed that my coworker had walked off the job because there was no proof of anything sinister happening to him. I stay away from the blind spots now because it's like the ghosts do their best to stay in those places that the CCT cameras can't view. If you're in a CCT camera blind spot, these ghostly creatures can do anything to you, and nobody's ever going to believe you. Because after all, if the camera can't see it, it's like it never happened. Have you ever seen this optical illusion where somebody faces towards the corner of a wall and starts to hug themselves? It makes it look like somebody else is hugging them or maybe even kissing them, and it's always hilarious. Anyhow, at a party my drunk friend started doing this, and we were all laughing. It actually looked like he was being groped and hugged. We could only see two arms, but all of a sudden, more arms started appearing, and they were grabbing him. My friend started screaming. Then we watched as his back got snapped, killing him. All of the extra arms disappeared and my friend's body fell to the floor. I recently moved into a new area after buying a house there. There's kind of this unspoken rule going around that everyone in this area follows. It's to not protect your house too much. Some people even go so far as to leave their front doors wide open. I'm someone who can't sleep at night without the proper protection in place. I don't want my house being robbed. I barbed all my fences with sharp nails, put up CCT cameras everywhere, and I even put up painful traps on the ground in my backyard, which I prepare and change the positions of every night. I'm an absolute control freak when it comes to protecting my house, 
because I know what it feels like to be burglarized in my own home. One night as I was about to go to sleep, I could hear movement in my backyard. I could see a couple of weird looking people purposely rubbing their bodies up against the sharp barbed wire. They were bleeding, but they seemed to be enjoying it. Then they purposely started letting their legs get trapped in one of my sharp traps that laid on the ground. It was like they were enjoying the pain. It was then that I realized why the neighbors in my new area had warned me not to protect my house too much. Because to a masochist, things like these traps, painful barriers, and other protective means will simply give them pleasure. More of these masochists started to come into my garden, and they were all enjoying the painful traps that I had laid out for the purpose of turning strangers away. I called the police, and they were able to gather everyone up and take them away. I was then given a speech by an officer about how police cuts were very severe, and how they wouldn't always be able to come to my aid. I would simply have to deter from protecting my house too much. My father was a makeup artist, and he loved putting makeup on people around their face. He goes around the world showing off his artistic makeup skills. I have always wanted to join the family business. I was allowed to go along with him and actually model my father's makeup. He actually let me wear it. This was all before the COVID-19 outbreak. An hour before the show started, my father punched me in the face and a bruise formed around both my eyes. Your makeup is done, my father told me. Funny thing is, my father is always putting makeup on my mother, even when she doesn't want it. My grandmother always kept the light on in her bedroom. She wasn't scared of the dark, but before she died, she told me and my brother to never turn the light off in her bedroom. Me and my brother had went to her room after the funeral, and we were just looking around at some of her stuff. Old photos of when she was a young woman, and other photos of her happier memories of times gone by. I told my brother to turn off the light as I was feeling curious. At the same time, I was still going through some of her stuff. My brother then told me, There you go. Lights off. Damn, it's gotten dark. Really dark. I can't believe this light switch has never been turned off before. Grandma's electricity bill must have been really high. I was confused. Because the light bulb was still on inside the room. And everything was still bright. I looked at my brother, and I became horrified at what had become of him by switching off the light. Both of his eyes were gone. My brother kept trying to turn the light on, but kept on saying, Damn, is the bulb faulty? The light isn't coming back on. We should have listened to Grandma. Hello? 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 Minicrawler, quick! There's a human centipede marathon on TV! What? Where? Gotcha! Oh man... Hello? 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 Hello?